day, the black life is always below others. And that's not right. A powerful message from students at Xavier University. Earlier today, students held a Black Lives Matter rally. Xavier basketball coach Travis Steele and the rest of the team were there. They gathered in front of the student center, carrying signs demanding justice for Breonna Taylor. And right now, some parents are marching through Cincinnati. Their children were killed in interactions with police across Ohio. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco has been with this group since the march began at 4 o'clock. So, Courtney, where are you now? So, Tonya, the group has made it here to Pyatt Park. They left City Hall around 4 o'clock, as you said, and the message they are sending is we need to bring up attention to the people in our city who died in interactions with police. We expect to hear from the mother of Sam DuBose in the next few minutes. A University of Cincinnati police officer killed him in 2015. She's watching in the crowd right now. Others in the group are parents, grandparents, siblings, or supporters of people who police have killed in Ohio. Ohio Families United Against Police Brutality organized this march. It's based in Columbus, and they are marching in cities across the state to inform people about the bills they want lawmakers to pass. Right now, they want all police in Ohio to undergo mandatory de-escalation, racial bias, and mental health training every year. I talked to the organizer, Sabrina Jordan. Police killed her son, Jamarco McShann, in 2017 in Moraine, Ohio. We don't want no more families destroyed. You know, and because that's what's happened to the 892 people, families have been destroyed since 2000. Enough is enough. Now, I checked the Justice Bureau of Justice rather statistics. It says from 2013 to 2019, police killed 215 Ohioans. 37 percent of those were black and Black Ohioans account for 12% of the population if you check the Census Bureau. So this march here wraps up at 6 o'clock. Then they will go on from Cincinnati and march in Toledo and then Cleveland. And the dates for those marches have not been set yet. Reporting live in Piatt Park, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.